everyone, now that I've done a lesson on how to use your flaps for takeoff and for landing, I just wanted to demonstrate a short field takeoff and a soft field takeoff. Uh, remember for, I'm going to start with the short field takeoff, and remember for that one we're not supposed to use any flaps. So the procedure was we're going to hold the brakes at full power, lean the mixture, release the brakes, uh, then climb out tail low, or hold the tail low so as we... Uh, go down the runway we're going to add a little bit of back pressure to get us off the ground a little earlier and then our climb speed is going to be 59 knots indicated airspeed um, per the checklist so um, I'm going to add full power then for the mixture it's the red knob here what we want to do is actually start leaning the mixture so pulling the knob out to achieve maximum RPM since we're already down at sea level I doubt that we're going to get anything extra. Notice the RPM is now actually dropping a little bit. So in this case because we're close to sea level the full mixture is going to give us the best RPM. Um, from here release the brakes, add a little bit of back pressure. Once we're above our, our obstacles, which we are, we can start accelerating. You don't want to level the nose because we still want to keep the climb going, but remember for a normal climb we want to climb out at 60 to 70 knots. Our correction, that's uh, 70 to 80 knots for our normal climb. So there's 70 knots right there. I'm going to trim off the control pressure. soft field the procedure is a little different for this one we actually are going to use 10 degrees of flaps and I'll go ahead and put that in now and then as we take off the general concept is that we want to get off the ground as soon as possible because the grass is um, slowing us down it's adding a lot of friction and making it harder to accelerate so we're going to get the plane off the ground and flying and keep it in ground effect where we have less aerodynamic drag and ground effects so um, within about a half a wingspan of the ground, the plane will fly at a slower airspeed than it would otherwise. Um, if you tried to lift the plane off and climb out at a really slow airspeed, it would end up stalling, but in the initial stages, we can actually get it off the ground and keep it flying at a pretty slow airspeed, probably around 50 knots, the plane will start flying and we can get it off the ground. Uh, but then we have to lower the nose a little bit and keep the plane just a couple feet off the ground until we accelerate to 59 knots. Then we'll climb out at 59 knots. Once we're above the tree line, then we can start speeding up to you know, 65 knots, bring up your flaps, and then climb out at 70 to 80 knots. So I'm going to release the brakes, pull the yoke back, and add full power. about there at 50 knots. We've actually got it off the ground, so we're just going to hold it right here, keep it a ground effect. We're above 59 knots, and then we can climb out. I'm going to look out ahead. We can see we're above the tree line, so I can lower the angle of attack a little bit, lower the nose, speed it up, and bring up my flaps. flaps are up, then I can continue my normal climb of 70 to 80 knots. I'm going to show you one more soft field takeoff, and this time I'm not going to keep it in ground effect. I'm going to try and climb out at the same speed that we lift off at, just to show you uh, what happens if you don't lower the nose after you get it off the ground and keep it in ground effect. So release the brakes, full power, full 
pull back on the yoke. And since the nose wheel is actually off the ground, we still uh, have to use the rudder to maintain the center line. No, it's just... So that's that's pretty much what happens. I tried to climb out at a really slow airspeed at 50 knots, a little under 50 knots, and the plane just stalled and crashed. So even though we got it off the ground, um, and soon as we kept climbing and got it out of ground effect, suddenly there's not enough lift and there's too much drag for the plane to keep flying. Um, so again, I'll show you one more soft field takeoff, and uh, this time I'll do it properly and just keep the plane in ground effect. Basically adding enough back pressure on the yoke to get the nose wheel off the ground, that's about what you're looking for. And then hold that until the plane gets off the ground. There's 59 knots. have it short field and soft field takeoffs thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you at the next lesson